Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 347. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Hasbro Toys, Marvel Legends series, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Marvel's Wasp action figure. Hope Van Dyne gears up with the signature stingers and high-tech wings as the buzzworthy hero Wasp. This six-inch scale action figure of the Wasp comes highly detailed and looks exactly as she did in the Marvel Cinematic Universe of characters. Figure has premium detailing for added posing and play. This figure is part of the Cull Obsidian Build-A-Figure collection and includes the Build-A-Figure head sculpt. Box includes the Marvel Wasp, action figure, alternate head, detachable wings, Tech Backpack, Alternate Hands, and Build-A-Figure Piece, released by Hasbro Toys. Now, the comic of the day is Avengers, Volume 1, Issue Number 179, with a cover date of January 1979, released in October 1978, with story by Tom DeFalco, art by Jim Mooney, and cover by Keith Pollard. This issue is titled, Slowly Slays the Stinger. The Black Panther is busting up a small-time drug ring outfit in Harlem when he's accosted by a new villain, the Stinger, who can become invisible. Taken by surprise, T'Challa is easily captured by him. While at the American Museum of Natural History, several Avengers, Yellow Jacket, Wasp, Vision, and the Scarlet Witch are guests of honor at the gala benefit. Tony Stark and Don Blake are also in attendance. Wanda takes an interest in a particular totem that a curator explains originated from a Pacific island known as Mora. As the curator is explaining this, a mysterious figure in a trench coat and fedora bellows that the totem was stolen from the island's natives, and he's come to reclaim it. The museum security is about to eject him, but then he reveals himself to be a strange avian-like being, Bloodhawk, and quickly tears through the guards. The Avengers spring into action, but soon find Bloodhawk to be a formidable foe. As their battle ensues, Bloodhawk succumbs to a berserker rage and runs amok. He hurls the vision into a model blue whale, causing the cables holding it to snap and sends it plummeting towards the party guests below. Thor appears on the scene and snatches the model while Iron Man subdues Bloodhawk. After the battle, an older man who had accompanied Bloodhawk to the museum steps forward to explain. The man, identified only as the teacher, that's what Bloodhawk calls him, apologizes for his actions, but says that it's vital that the totem is returned to Mora. Iron Man asks for museum permission to take the totem, and then the whole team returns to the mansion, along with Bloodhawk and Teacher. At Avengers Mansion, the team are joined by Beast and Wonder Man, who were on monitor duty at the time. Teacher relates the sad history of his people. Bloodhawk's father, an unethical biochemist, subjected his pregnant mother to dubious experiments, hoping he produced a superior race of humans. Bloodhawk was a mutant offspring. His mother died in childbirth, and the teacher claims that his father, repulsed at what he'd created, abandoned the infant Bloodhawk. The teacher took custody of him and took him to the remote island of Mora to raise him in a peaceful place. Yet his people had been plagued throughout his life by moments of berserk fury in which he loses all reason. The Scarlet Witch silently empathizes with Bloodhawk's tragic mutant history. Bloodhawk awakens and demands the totem be brought to Mora. He claims the island's gods left it there eons ago to protect the natives from a dire curse. Since it's been removed, the island has been suffering from increased tremors. Iron Man, a rational skeptic of magic, is dismissed of any talk of curses or magical totems, but several of his teammates disagree. The team takes a vote, and it's decided a contingent of Avengers will accompany Bloodhawk and Teacher back to Mora with the totem to at least investigate the matter. Iron Man, angered with the Avengers, are giving credence to magic, storms off in a huff. 
While the vote is taking place, Jarvis is in the kitchen and hears a knock on the door. He answers it, but sees no one there. He's actually the Invisible Stinger, who then strolls right into the mansion. Thor, the Vision, and Beast accompany Bloodhawk and Teacher back to Mora. The Stinger then attacks, waylaying Hank, Jan, Wanda, and Wonder Man. Jarvis sees the melee and rushes to the alarm controls to alert the rest of the team. Unfortunately, he gets there too late before he can sound an alarm. Sometime later, the Quinjet arrives at Mora, just in the nick of time, apparently, as tremors rock the island. The totem had long been gone on a small temple just offshore. To everyone's surprise, that temple is revealed to be just the top of a head of a giant stone behemoth. The stone giant emerges from beneath the waves and stomps toward the island, intent on destroying its native residents. To be continued. Geek Fact Stinger, whose real name is James Vulcan, was a businessman who turned on those businessmen who acquired their wealth with illegal methods. He had the Tinkerer construct him a costume and weapons, and he set out to capture the Avengers to sell off to the highest bidder in a private auction. He managed to capture six members right away, including Jarvis. Only Thor escaped capture thanks to Bloodhawk. Stinger was arrested after being captured by Beast. Bonus Geek Fact Monolith was an alien that visited Earth millennia ago and was imprisoned on Mora Island by sorcerers. When the totem was stolen and taken to the Museum of Natural History, Monolith was able to wake up. Beast was able to restore the totem, and Thor sent him through a portal far from Earth. Another bonus geek fact. Iron Man was written out of character this issue. As an Avenger, he's repeatedly encountered magical beings, including his own teammates, Thor, the Norse god, and Scarlet Witch, who was trained in witchcraft by Agatha Harkness. Flashback fact. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the character of Agatha Harkness was altered from a mentor to a scheming witch, wanting to steal Wanda's powers. And final geek fact. Agent Gearich argues that the Avengers' security measures are too lax, especially when a lower-level villain like Stinger was able to infiltrate the mansion. Because of this, perhaps the team shouldn't have access to top-secret government intel. This gets addressed in upcoming issues. Interesting ad fact. This issue contained a Star Wars special featuring the original action figures for $2.79, a land speeder for $6.95, or go all out for a chrome-plated remote-controlled R2-D2 unit with sound and rotating head for only $33.95. I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.